Hi, my name's Kelly. I'm a CBT therapist and forensic psychologist. Today we're going to be talking about diaphragmatic breathing. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about what it is and then I'm going to explain how to do it. So with diaphragmatic breathing, it is basically deep, slow belly breathing, but from your diaphragm, so underneath your rib cage. And one of the reasons why belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing is really helpful is because it does activate the vagus nerve and by doing the deep slow breathing we can learn to use our breath to shift our focus away from things that may be causing us stress or causing us anxiety because your human mind normally processes one thing at a time. So if you're able to shift your focus from what's going on up here or maybe what's going on around you to your breath, you're more in control of what's going on and you're able to shift your focus away from the thing that could be causing you stress or causing you anxiety. And also that the rhythmic action of breath can be really, really calming. And the moment we anticipate stress in any form, most of us either tend to stop breathing, although we won't really notice it, and we hold our breath, or we breathe really shallowly. So what I mean by that is breathing from the top part of your chest. So all your breath is coming from here and not from down there. And when we hold our breath or when we breathe shallowly, the, that activates that fight, flight and freeze response. So the sympathetic nervous system, that's kind of activating to the brain and telling the brain that there's something stressful, something anxiety provoking that's happening. And then that can sometimes intense our feelings of pain or anxiety or fear because the brain's thinking, I need to do something, I need to protect myself. But in using the deep diaphragmatic breathing, we're able to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest, which is opposite from the fight, flight, freeze response. So how do we do this? If we want to practice deep breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, you're going to inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. You want to breathe slowly. So normally around six breaths a minute is great for that slow breathing so thinking 10 seconds for each breath and when you breathe more deeply you want to breathe from your diaphragm so think about expanding your abdomen so widening your rib cage as you inhale so if you just check in with your body now how you're breathing you're breathing but you're probably not really expanding that rib cage so imagining your abdomen and your rib cage really widening and then coming back in and a great way if you're starting this or even if you've been doing it for ages just to check in is placing one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach so just below your rib cage so on your diaphragm and as you breathe in, you want to feel your diaphragm, so your stomach expand and that rib cage open. And when you breathe out, when you exhale, you should feel your diaphragm and your stomach and your rib cage go back in. And that's known as the diaphragmatic breathing. So if you, when you're practicing it, just holding your hands like that on your body. I put my camera down quickly so it's like that. And you want to be able to do this and just practice it. And if you can exhale longer than you inhale, it's the exhale that actually triggers that relaxation response. But as I said, if you just want to play around with it, counting your breaths is also a great way to shift that focus. But the main aspect of this is that deep diaphragmatic breathing. So remember, you want your rib cage and your diaphragm to do that as you breathe. And then when you do this and you practice it over a longer period of time, it can have profound effects that it can be easier to recall because you've been practicing it and you know what to expect. And you can use it when you need it. So I always recommend people just to try it when you're feeling relatively okay. So you can practice it and you can get the hang of it. 
And then when you're in a situation where that fight flights the um the sympathetic nervous system has been activated it's easier to recall because you've practiced it you know what to do so remember having your hands here can be super super helpful and then just breathe deeply and slowly i hope you found that helpful as always please like and subscribe and let me know anything else you'd like me to cover thank you and take care